Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Spelunky. Who are we playing as today? I don't know. Uh, let, uh, this guy, Jonas Fatson. We'll play as him. Uh, welcome back. It's been a day since I recorded the last one. You know, when you quarantine in your house uh, for an unforeseeable future, you end up playing a lot of Spelunky and recording a lot of videos. So I suppose in the end, uh, who am I to complain in the current state? Uh, but hey, you know what? Do I think that I'm improving at Spelunky? Absolutely not. So in the end, has anything really changed? Uh, no. I've actually, so for the record, I have been playing Spelunky, uh, pretty much every night at this point for a uh, little under a week, just practicing, improving, uh, seeing where life takes us. I, I am finding that I'm starting to develop certain habits in the game uh, that are better, right? They're better. Um, but something happened, man. Something happened because I, I used to be okay at this game. Uh, and then I feel like I, I didn't play it for a little bit and I lost like everything that I had. Uh, so it's a little bit of getting back on this one. Uh, trying to re-get re to a point that I feel good about my Spelunky play. Uh, I think we're approaching that, but it's still taking a little bit of time. Uh, I am going to kill shopkeepers. I've been, I've been spending all of my time killing shopkeepers to the point where I have uh, kind of like distinct strategies for different uh, shopkeeper layouts because you actually you tend to get pretty similar layouts uh, from shop to shop. You know, that you either have like a very small entrance, which results in a uh, a good time to do like a jumping kill, uh, or you have the well, you have shops like this that end up being just very easy. Um, I did kill my friend in the process. I should have gone about that differently, for the record, because um, we probably should have gone for the ice ray. In fact. Uh, the shotgun just gets a little bit, especially when we had the friend with us, we wanted to be a little bit more cautious, but that's okay. This guy, this is where I've been developing new, uh, new strategies. Sometimes with, with big spider boy, let him kill himself, dude. Uh, cause he'll, he'll come back over here. Now we were able to get the shot off easily there, but he'll just kill himself on the spikes and that, that makes our life way easier so i don't know if the key was actually on this floor i don't think it was um we'll we'll find it on this next one i am sure or on the one after whatever floats your boat you will get blasted my friend we already have spring shoes which means that we have uh basically super jump with the shotgun uh allows us to get i believe it's it's four blocks high yeah, it's definitely four blocks high. Five blocks is a little bit much. We ended up setting off an arrow trap. But but where? I suppose it was here. I don't know how the hell the arrow flew all the way to where it did though. I'm sure we'll figure We'll figure out some stuff here. You're already set off, cool. Our shopkeeper is down here. We actually still have a, a decent chunk of floor here. Well, let's come on down, grab this, come up, go over, peace out, see you later. Oh, so many arrow traps, dude. They are everywhere. So there's our shopkeeper. Uh, because of this, I would like to take a little different approach. I'd like to do that to start. This is this is the kind of shopkeeper where there's there's actually not really a great way to do this. Um, I tend to think that, that maybe the best way to do it is to just go with the 50-50. Um, cause I think it's, it's actually a little bit higher than 50-50. This is very annoying here. Cause this guy is quite jumpy. And what we want to do is kill him. That, that was a little bit, a little bit. You know, <laughs> not, not really the best way you want to do that, but it works out. So there's spike shoes. That actually helps us a lot uh, for this shopkeeper we're about to handle here. There's a couple of different ways we can do this, right? 
but I think that the the quickest way is to just do that and leave. Uh, key in the chest, still not on this floor. You're really hoping and praying that it's on this one, or else you are in for a a mild rude awakening in the fact that you gotta find a black market with your bare friggin' hands, dude, and that sometimes is not too easy. We're gonna hope and pray that it's just chilling over here. It is chilling over there, okay. It makes me feel a little bit better. Let's rope up here. Probably, definitely, I mean, 100% should have hit that uh, skelly, but that's fine. You're sitting right out front. It's a good shop. Um, let's wait for this guy to go in a little bit more. Because we might be able, if he goes the right direction, just keep going in a little bit further. Okay. Not really the most ideal situation we could have been in. But we are in a good spot from the perspective of We're in a good spot from the perspective of uh your bed. Of having a lot of space to work with this guy. So I'm less concerned about that. Okay, you are dead. We need to get in here. So start with that. Honestly, super rude. Didn't know that guy could jump that high. Okay. He cannot get us. We still have shopkeeper boy over here. Okay. Easy. <laughs> okay, we 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 have two HP going down to this floor. That that was definitely things could have gone better in that scenario. Uh, but you, you make do with what you got. Now, listen for your black market cues. Because it could be anywhere, dude. Now, I will say, lately that I've been playing, been on the third floor, like, every single time. I do, it means absolutely nothing for us here. I'm just making an observation. Brig the monkey. I hate him. Where can I take you that is a... Oh. Black market's close. Not over there, though. So we're somewhere in here. It's smacked out in the middle of that crap, dude. Which is a big problem. Um... Here's how we're gonna start. I mean, it's like right here. Okay. Shop contains nothing we necessarily need. So let's, let's not lose sleep over it for right now. I think you should just head down to your black market and go. Um, that, that's just an intelligent play. Why, why would we go to the shop in that case? So then this is, as per usual, best way to handle this. Still a rogue shopkeeper in here. We got him though. Okay. Get yourself over to this area. Black market's always, oh, that's not good. <laughs> we have, we have a shotgun up here. We have a shotgun up here. Definitely not a good idea to just drop your shotgun uh, down. If you could get down in that hole, dude, that would be ideal. But you don't necessarily want to do that. Excellent. That was also not what we were looking to do. A lot of wasted bombs right there. Okay, easy. Bomb shot, please. 
It is. Okay, so we're, we're at least coming out of here with some bombs. Whoa. That guy was way too close for comfort. Okay, so there's the Ankh. I'm going to stick with Jetpack over Cape, even though I'm going to be honest with you, I sometimes like Cape more than Jetpack. Um, these guys will die, and I'm going to be real. That's everyone. So, that was easy. Um, I feel like we can probably afford... That was a little tighter than I wanted it to be. We can probably afford to not spend bombs and just waltz to the end here. You're going to die. You're dead. And we're good to go, dude. Okay, got the Ankh, got everything. 25 bombs to our name. It's, it's enough. Um, obviously, you, you would like more. But it's definitely enough to do what you need to do. We're chilling. Uh, at this point, I feel very good. You know, Black Market is kind of first major hurdle. Uh, well, first major hurdle is just getting through the mines, I think. Uh... Second major hurdle is... Second major hurdle is this right here. This is just horrible. I'm gonna be real. I think this is just intelligent for us. Hate this. Yo. So, <laughs> it, it's almost the best play I would have ever had in my life. Just send the remote bomb in and let him rip. Uh, bees are awesome here, dude. And shopkeeper being dead is even more awesome. We still have the guy on the bottom, but, uh, we'll get that figured out. So, benefit here is that red puddle is a lot of HP for us. Now we have to do some work to get there, but we will, we will make it work. Okay, don't die to the bee, thanks. Beautiful. So 5 HP back. Shopkeeper is, uh... Dead. B is dead. A sketchy-ass floor, dude, to be completely blunt. Uh... There's a lot of hell here. But we got there in the end. B's made it work. We got ropes for days. Not that we need them, for the record. I also just let my parachute go, but it, with the jetpack, we don't need the parachute anyway. Okay, head on down. We're chilling. We're chilling. It's a good floor. 5 HP is a, a great place for us to be in. Um, obviously, it would have been great to be at, you know, 6 or more like we, we probably could have been if I wasn't bad at the game, but you got to pick your battles sometimes, y'all. Uh, and this is... A battle that right now I'm winning, uh, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. So shopkeeper is already on the loose. We also have a Cali altar, which obviously it would be huge for us to. Uh, it would be huge for us to be able to get a sacrifice in, because I believe we already have a full sacrifice. Now I don't know where. But you're there. Let's do that real quick. Okay, you're dead. I do want to sack everyone. So let's start with you. Now keep in mind, she's happy, but we're going to need way more than that to, to get the uh, Kapala out of you. So I'm, I'm looking around. Might be... Uh, I'm, I'm looking for our human is what I'm looking for. Yeah, he, he's got to be in the top left area. Um, let, let's go back up there. Dude, where the hell is the human? I'm very confused. So we'll, we'll take this guy down. But we are, we are missing a man right now. And I'm very confused by it, but that's okay. Uh, we don't we don't need the Kapala. Just falls under the category of is really nice. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go. 
As much as I would love the Kapala. It's just intelligent to leave. And that's where, you know, old Tyler, he would have been chucking bombs in that. But look, we have a Cali Altar immediately on this floor uh, that we'll be able to get the, get the Kapala here. So it works out in the end. We made some bright decisions. We do have a double bomb, triple bomb shop, which is fantastic. Uh, that helps us a good deal on this one. And I mean, we're, we're basically guaranteed the Kapala on this floor um, because the amount of, you know, humans, and by humans, I mean people we can sack, right? Because we got this guy here who somehow got blown up by probably an alien of some sort. Uh, and then you got this shopkeeper and then you got all of the yetis. A uh, lot of opportunities. Does this actually... Yeah, you're completely closed off. We'll make an entrance here. Beautiful. And then real quick, I'd like to take this and just send it all the way over there before we nuke this. You're dead. Beautiful. The goal is to uh, get the Kapala without us. Uh, get the Kapala without turning in the woman, if possible. Because uh, then we could get an extra HP from that, even. Uh, that's it. Okay, there's the Kapala. And I know we're going to be suiciding here anyway, very soon. But I see no reason not to go for this. We can also kill this guy four hits for a. Uh, Decent paying gem. You're there. And, uh, let's go. Okay. Still looking for, uh, Maui Head, which is either this floor or the next. That will allow us to get the, the headdress. Which will allow us to get to the City of Gold. But right now, dude, we're, we're hard chilling. This run is looking really nice. You, you can tell my practice has paid off. I've been I've been playing a lot of Splunky. I haven't actually gotten any wins off camera, but um I still have felt pretty good about how we have been playing. I don't like this. That's gonna help. Okay. You do that. Now to just make sure, I don't believe the head is on this floor. But we'll do a quick run around. Just to make sure. That could have been dangerous. Okay. No head on this floor. Means I am outie. Um, however, we might not want to be outie yet. Because we could actually get some more HP. Such as by killing this guy. Very dangerous what I'm doing right here. If he get if I get hit by him, that's basically GG. Uh, cause I will fall to my death and lose our Ankh. So we're good. We're good. Uh continue on. This is a hundred percent Maui head floor. Um doesn't matter how we die, as long as we die. Probably want to do it when we feel most prepared for it. That's just a great shot by the uh by the guy's death. It's impressive. Um, my shotgun's kind of in hell, but I'm going to tell you again. Doesn't really matter. What a what a kill with that. Uh, there's Maui Head. Okay. I feel like we should go for uh, the big play here. No, you know what? We should not go for the big play here. Because uh, if you ghost on this floor, it gets a little bit yikesy. So I'm actually not going to ghost. I think we're just going to go for the kill. Um, we, we can take this down with us, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's the Ankh. Welcome to uh, the Black Parade. I got the headdress. We go. Keep in mind, no shotgun. Okay? No anything. We're going to have to get it back. Uh, we can hope and pray there's a just shop on this floor so we can snag a weapon uh, from it. I just want something to get us through the the uh, next next part. You know, in a perfect world, the shopkeeper is easily killable. Okay, yeah, very dangerous. Don't don't whip that guy. It's a 
great way to die. Okay. Smart plays, Tyler. Smart plays. Just only smart plays. This shopkeeper is 100% Audi. So we are in a position. Uh, we, we will not end up getting a weapon before going down to the... About to say down to the cathedral. Really, really not where we're going, if I'm being honest. Th this guy presents such an issue, dude. You ready? Easy kills, honestly. That went extraordinarily well. That's, that's a big brain play, right? Extremely big brain. Would really li like that rock back, though. Because at least this is something we can throw at the beginning of the next floor if there's an immediate threat of some kind. But 6 HP, 20-some bombs, uh, even possibly 30-some bombs. 31 bombs. Not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, so we are looking for... Not you. We're looking for Anubis. There's Anubis. Probably the scariest floor uh, that we, we could come across. Doesn't mean we're we're gonna die, right? Just means it's a little a little scary, and you would you would love a hi Anubis. Okay, you're dead. And there's the scepter. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I really don't want to use this because it's a horrifying weapon to use. You're already dead. Lucky day for me. Uh, keep in mind, we, we cannot take the shotgun. We just have to go. Uh, we, we will most likely make it to the black market, on, or the City of Gold, unless there's a terrible path to it on this floor. Shopkeeper's already angry, or dead, one of the two. Both of which are kind of alarming. So there's there's Black Market. And by Black Market, I mean City of Gold. You'd think uh, eventually I would learn the difference between the two. I'm mainly just going to go look and see if our shopkeeper is alive. He is. Now we're going to look and see if he's going to kill himself. actually kind of scary this situation he did end up getting hit it's never gonna line up where these things hit him Okay. Significantly more space to work with. That's eh, not good. But actually, it's okay, because this opens up some more real estate for us. Okay. I'm wasting bombs. Come on, dude. There we go. Okay. We wasted so many bombs there. But I, I once again feel safe with shotgun in hand. Um, just want to do a quick jump over to here. I mean, that crate could have bombs in it, but not something I'm willing to test. Uh, let's, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, City of Gold. Not too bad, dude. Not too bad. We're, we're making our way in the world today. It takes everything we got. Uh, bleh. Thank you. City of Gold's horrifying, dude. I mean, there, there is a lot that can kill you in this place. 
It's basically just the hardest version of the temple. This is where, dude, I would love to be on the bottom of this guy. We would have infinite HP. It'd be very, very easy. Sadly, it's not necessarily an option for us because we can't get in there. Also, keep in mind, we do still have the Kapala, uh, which means we can get ourselves some extra blood from Doggo. We could swing infinite HP here. It's going to be close, though. Okay, you ready for this? Oh, and of course, you're here. We, we can get this. It's just tight. So I think it, it's something like this. Now it's something like this. That's going to actually straight up kill him. There we go. Okay, baby. So here's what's happening. He's barfing. Those little green pellets count as blood. Uh, thus, the Kapala is filling. And we are stacking the HP. Okay, that's horrifying. Thanks. Of course, I took my hand off of the controller for a second. That's okay, though. 12 HP is good enough for Tyler. Um, keep in mind, we, we still have this in here that we need to get into. Figure out where the heck we're going. Be very cautious in here. You do have a spike trap. There's Anubis, too. You don't need to kill Anubis, too. But we will. I hate you, buddy. Okay, he's dead. Doggo, come with me. Beautiful. Uh, we're hard chilling right now. We're, we're hard chilling. We, we've got everything we need. Ghost is here. I think that's a, a good, good ticket for me to get the heck out of here. Uh, you're hoping for a lot of bombs high because you don't got a lot of bombs. Um, you, you wasted a lot. That's one. If we're going to learn one thing from this run, um, and I, I think we'll probably still kill Olmec here, um, but we, we had a lot of bombs wasted. But that's okay. That's okay. You, you live and you learn. There's three bombs back. There's another parachute, which doesn't really help us. A lot of crates, which is at least nice. Another three bombs. Spike shoes. I'll spend a bomb to hopefully get some bombs. It's ropes. That sucks. Basically wasted one. What you got here? Boomerang. Dude, it's actually a pretty weak uh, top here. A lot of crates, but not a lot of actual value out of them. And by value, I mean not a lot of bombs. Um, but we're okay. Uh, 17 is still enough to get the job done here. You just gotta be a little, little careful. So far right is where our boy needs to be. It's, it's far friggin' right, dude. Holy crap. Okay. Let's set up some, uh, some trickle-down economy here. Beautiful. Let's put one there. Put one here. Put one here. Put one here. Put one here. And that very well could be enough. We, we spent all of our bombs. <laughs> I wasn't really intending on it. We, we still have six. Um... I was planning on just letting it kind of come naturally. Okay. This is where things get a little dicey, although actually he's just going to drop right in. He's not going to drop right in. Okay. Now he is. Okay. Easy money. Uh, that's an Olmec kill in the books. Was it a little dangerous? Of course. Always is. Uh, but now you're in hell, dude. They said it couldn't be done, but here we is. Okay, uh, cape, not valuable. Biggest thing to, to do with hell is to understand that for the most part, 
Hell is just a puzzle, dude. It's a big puzzle um, of figuring out the appropriate path in the puzzle. If you figure out the path, hell's not too bad. Um, it's just sometimes there are sketchy jumps, sketchy scenarios like that right there. And then, of course, we still have our friend, the shopkeeper, at the end of it all. I don't think we're going to get into here to get the, the ward of lava. Terrible shopkeeper, to be honest, but I, I do have an idea. And it's called... Drop this. And go. Wasted bombs. That's okay. You also, you're going to get two bomb crates in the, in the final fight. So you don't have to fret overly about it. It's more we have, you know, three bombs to get through hell, um, which is not simple. Okay. Bats can just, they can die. That might not be our boy. And frankly, I'm going to be real. We don't care about him to begin with. Okay. Things got a little dicey there. Uh, you, you make it work. Okay. We're fine. That one's moving very fast. There are a lot of Draculas here. Wow, that guy is just getting brutally murdered over there. And he's the real one, too, which is even worse. There, there's fake uh, people when you get to hell. Dude, the damn Draculas. Greg, you. And of course, it's a 50-50. Uh, I think I'm willing to do this. Unbelievable. Okay. He almost came back, which I hate. But we're, we're here, right? Okay. Just got to get through this one. I, I honestly, I feel quite fine about uh, the Yama fight. It's not that difficult as long as you follow the, the formula correctly. It's an easy fight. We got a shotgun. We're going to have bombs. We kind of have everything we need. One slow moving one, one fast moving one. Okay. I got yeeted by the shopkeeper. Dude, I took it straight to the freaking face. It's a good thing we had 14 HP. I didn't even see the guy there. Okay. Boy, that was a little... Can't deny I've, I've felt better about scenarios in my life. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Don't mind me, right? Don't mind me. Got no interest in... Uh, and really doing much here. So there's Yama. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Uh, first things first. You gotta go. You gotta go. Give me the bombs. Give me the bombs. Okay. Next step. You're always safe. Oh, my God. You're always safe if you're under a thing. They'll just stay under a thing. Right here is fine, to be honest. Right here is A-OK. -okay. I think he's in massive head mode. If he's not, he will be soon. We, we have done it. Okay. How, how afraid am I? 
still very, for the record. But my dude's dead. So, clear out the rest of the junk. We can afford to do a little spring cleaning in here. Thank you for the beautiful score. And, uh, what can I say? Except I've done it. They said it couldn't be done. At least not by me. Oh, yeah, okay. Hate you. With a passion. But we've done it. Uh, there we go. Does that mean the series is over? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't really intend to do this on the fourth episode. Uh, but it feels good to actually get a win. Because it has been a little bit since we've gotten one. And I just, I had this feeling out of the blue that I should record an episode of Spelunky. Uh, and here we are. I've been recording a ton of them recently. But we actually, uh, there was, there was good reason. Now this was not the best score I've ever had, to be honest. Um, I don't even know what our final score was. But we, we definitely did not min-max money a whole hell of a lot on this one. Seems to be okay. 400,000 is pretty good gonna bump up another uh 100,000 by beating hell 543 it's not too bad it's okay uh i think my high score is way higher than that though i'm gonna check real quick player stats best score 648 so there you go that was recently too uh i just i just got that recently but not too, too bad. Uh, we, we did okay. We did okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, appreciate the support on Spelunky. If you want to see some more, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll just keep on trying to beat Quest 2 and Demon Crawl. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. You have a good one. Goodbye.